Hello everyone, uh, we are doing the module 1 introduction to parallel architectures. This is lecture number 5, uh, the title is reporting results. In the previous lecture, we have looked at the definition of performance and the list of benchmarks or the requirement of benchmarking. In this lecture, we are going to study once we get the benchmark results, how do we uh, go ahead and report or do the comparisons between uh, the different machines. Okay, so, the theme is how do I collate the results that I get after benchmarking. All right. So, performance of a set of programs is what uh, we were looking at. So, performance is measured uh, separately for every program that is you run one program on a machine you get its execution time. So, T i is the execution time for program i and uh, we repeat this for all the programs in the benchmark suite. So, suppose I have programs P1, P2, P3 up to Pm in my benchmark and for every program we compute the execution time. So, T1 is the execution time for program P1, T2 for P2 and so on up to Tm. So, this is the value of execution time of every program. Okay. So, once we get this how do we report the performance because we have different execution times for different programs. So, how do I collate these results to give one final answer. So, a uh, straightforward solution is that we can uh, take some mean to find this out. Okay. So, what type of mean values do we want to take out? So, one uh, popular one is arithmetic mean. So, I will take an arithmetic mean to report a single value. So, we had the execution times t1, t2 in the previous slide. So, I have to uh, do an arithmetic mean of all the t's. So, I will do a sigma of t i where i goes from 1 to m because I had m processes in benchmark suite. Okay. So, all this and then I have to divide this by m because I have m processes. So, what is going this is going to be? This is going to be the arithmetic mean of execution time. So, if I say this is T E X E and I will also put another subscript arith. So, that is the arithmetic mean. So, that is how we can report a performance of a set of programs. The problem with arithmetic mean is that if there is a program which runs longer, if it if one program takes 100 time units and another takes only 10, the overall arithmetic mean, mean will be larger. So, if you want to uh, even it out, for example, program P1 executes only 10 instructions, it is a small program and program P2 is executing 1000 instructions. So, naturally this is going to take longer, right. So, if you have more instructions, the program will take longer. So, the, definitely the time will be more. So, here the execution time increases. So, we have a longer execution time for P2 and a smaller for P1. So, overall performance of this machine will show poor because P2 will be taking much longer than P1 on this particular machine because of the size of the program. So, in this case to offset such programs, we could associate a weight with the mean value. So, I can associate a weight with everything. So, this weight could be a function of the instruction count, right? So, we can associate a function of the instruction count so that I can equalize the effect of P1 and P2. So, we will have effectively T1 multiplied by the weight of uh, P1, then T2 multiplied by the weight of P2. So, overall the execution time of program I multiplied by the weight associated with that program. So, now this is used to compute the arithmetic mean. So, I going from 1 to m and then the same thing we have to do this. So, what is this called? This is called the execution time arithmetic mean, but I will just put a wt that is a weighted arithmetic mean. Okay. So, this is how uh, we can compute the two means. So, the weighted arithmetic mean and the normal arithmetic mean formula are shown on this slide. All right. So, the next uh, measure of uh, performance is speed up. But speed up, when I say speed up, how fast is one machine compared to other? So, for speed up, we need a reference machine or a reference entity. We cannot uh, simply say that I am x times fast, but compared to what? So, that reference machine is very important when we have to report speed up. 
ok. So, uh, if I have a single program we normally take this is the execution time of the program it is this much on this machine and that um, A on this machine and B on that machine and then we can compare and say that this program runs faster on this machine compared to the second machine. But if I want to compare two programs on the same machine, uh, so how do I say that which is faster? right or if you have two enhancements you did some improvement in the hardware and uh, improvement one and improvement two and you want to compare which improvement is performing good. So, every improvement uh, is used on uh, a particular benchmark program. So, you run that program then the with the same improvement you run on a reference machine and then compare the execution time on your machine compared to a reference machine ok. So, to do the speed up we need a reference machine. So, I am using F, uh, ref as the reference machine and m1 as my machine. So, on this machine the execution time is t1 and on the reference machine the execution time is t ref ok. So, these are the two execution types we have seen on the previous slide that a set of execution times are averaged to give an overall uh, average execution time. In terms of speed up for every program we need to compute how fast the program runs on a given machine ok. So, I have uh, these programs P1, P2, P3 and so on. So, for every program we compute the execution time and then compare it with the reference machine. So, I will say TR that is uh, execution on the reference machine divided by T1 which is the execution time on uh, this machine for the program P1. Similarly, T ref divided by T2 and so on. So, we are going to do this. So, once we have this set, what is this fraction called? This fraction is called speed up. So, I will use the term S for speed up and I will simply say 1. S1 is the speed up of program 1 with respect to reference machine. So, this is S2 and so on up to SM. Okay, so, this is the respective speed up. Again we have a set of values here like we had a set of values for execution time here we have a set of values for speed up and when we have a set of values we need to take mean value ok. So, we could uh, use the same methods and use an arithmetic mean. So, arithmetic mean is sigma of all the speed ups. So, I will say si i going from 1 to m and then 1 over m. So, if I have m programs, if I have n programs then this is 1 over n sigma 1 to n of this. So, this is going to be the arithmetic mean of the speed up ok. So, on the slide you can see that for a set of programs p1, p2, p3 up to pm we have computed the speed up of individual program s1, s2, sm. For this set of speed ups we need to average it out. So, I have worked out an arithmetic mean but we can also do different other types of means. So, what are the options with us? We have arithmetic mean, we have harmonic mean and we have geometric mean. So, this slide shows the uh, different formulae for every mean. Arithmetic you have all uh, seen. For the harmonic mean we simply have to take the reciprocal of the speed up. So, 1 over s i then take a sigma of this i ranging from 1 to I have used n here uh, for n processes and then we put this in the denominator and then take the harmonic mean ok. So, this is the harmonic mean for the different speed ups. The other mean is the geometric mean which is uh, the nth root of the product of all the speed ups. So, we take s i take the product of all i ranging from 1 to n and once this is done you raise it to 1 over n ok. So, this becomes the geometric mean ok. So, the speed up has got these uh, three variations to take up the mean value ok. We have seen three means now which mean to take right. So, there are some observations that arithmetic and harmonic mean they have slight problems because if you change the reference machine with which you are comparing the values tend to differ. Okay. So, what I mean to uh, say here that if we have arithmetic mean of the speed up. So, S arithmetic for machine R 1 
okay so this is my, for my reference machine r1 okay so when the reference machine is r1 all the speed ups will be with respect to r1 so it will be tr1 by t1 tr1 by t2 and so on for every program right so this is going to be my set of speed ups and the arithmetic mean of this speed ups is s arithmetic on machine r1 so it will be sigma of the speed ups on r1 for all the programs i ranging from 1 to n okay so this one if we change the reference machine then what do we get speed ups with respect to reference machine r2 for all the programs 1 over n and now what is this value this is arithmetic mean with respect to reference machine r2 okay okay so the observation says that these two values suppose i call this value v1 and this value v2 it is the observation is that the v1 is not always equal to v2 okay so not always v1 and v2 are not always equal in arithmetic mean the same holds for harmonic mean as well okay but we don't have problem with geometric mean so if you recollect the geometric mean was the nth root of the products of uh, the speed ups okay so if i write s uh, geo mean on the reference machine r1 what would that be reference machine r1 speed up for program i product of them from i equal to 1 to n and then raise it to 1 over n okay so the nth root so this is value v1 and then we have a similar value v2 with respect to machine r2 this is value v2 and the good property of geometric mean is that even if we change the reference machine the overall mean remains the same so v1 is always equal to v2 even if the reference machine has changed one other property of the geometric mean is that it is composable suppose i have uh, already run three programs p1 p2 p3 we have obtained the geometric mean for this set so i will say geometric mean for set 1 and later you intend to run some more programs but you don't want to rerun p1 p2 p3 so you have another geometric mean value for this separate set so another geometric mean value of 2 so once you have these two values it is not possible in harmonic and arithmetic mean to combine it but in a uh, geometric mean formula we can easily combine so the overall mean in geometric can be combined using these two values so what is that it is simply the product of these two means okay so the overall mean will be the product of these two geometric means Okay, so which mean to take harmonic and arithmetic are good enough but geometric mean is more stable uh, we can draw the same conclusions across different reference machines and it is also composable okay next we are going to uh, do some examples to understand the concepts uh, further i will also ask you to solve the examples as you see this lecture okay so on this slide you can see a table the first column is the list of machines so we have machine 1 machine 2 ref1 and ref2 are reference machines then the second column is giving the execution time of program a so program a takes 10 time units on machine 1 it takes one time unit on machine 2 so that's the interpretation of the value the third column is program b's values for every machine okay so on machine 1 we have two values for program 1 for program A and 1 from program B and we want to calculate one final value of uh, performance on machine 1. So how do you do that? Either of the means which we have discussed so we can compute an arithmetic mean of A and B on machine 1 and then fill the value. So I will ask you to fill it yourself also along with me. Okay, So here I am going to do the arithmetic mean of these two values on machine 1. 
then same thing here for this this is 100 plus 10,000 over 2 and this is 100 plus 1000 over 2 so if you solve it this comes to 55 this comes to 100.2 sorry 100.5 and this is 5050 and that is 550 Okay, so these are the arithmetic means of the performances on different machines and uh, just for fun we can compare them and check how do they behave. So if you compare these two, which machine is better if you want to run both A and B on it with respect to arithmetic mean and when we talk of execution time, you have to be faster, so the smaller value is good. Okay, So we want to pick this value 55 instead of 100. If I am comparing these two machines, then I am going to select 550 over 5000. Okay, so if I just uh, uh, write them in some order, the fastest uh, machine to execute A and B is machine M1. I will use the greater than sign to say that it is good. It is not that it is greater, but the greater than sign implies that M1 is better than the uh, right hand side machine. So, M1 is better than M2 then M2 is better than ref2 and then last we have ref1. Okay. So, with respect to execution times, this is how uh, we can draw the order. Okay. So, machine 1 is better than machine 2, ref machine 2 is better than ref machine 1 and so on and execution time lower is better. All right. So, we will move on to calculate the speed up of the same example on the left hand corner I have copied the table from the previous slide. Now this orange table what is it saying? It is going to tabulate the speed up. Speed up as we define is with reference to a reference machine with respect to a reference machine. So the first two columns are with respect to ref reference machine 1 and the third and fourth row are reference machine 2. So what am I going to fill in this cell? So, the first cell under program A column is going to report the speed up of program A on machine M1 with respect to reference machine 1. All right. And similarly, program B, how fast it is compared to machine 1 with respect to reference machine 2. So, we have to fill all these values. So, let us calculate that in the next slide. So, I will ask you to do it along with me. Okay. So, that table is here for us and now we can use that table to calculate these values. So, let us do it for P A. Okay. So, program A, machine 1, reference machine R1. Okay. I am using a short form instead of REF1, I am using R1. So, program A, machine 1, R1. So, P A with respect to machine 1 means uh, with respect to reference machine 1 that is execution time on reference machine 1 divided by execution time on machine M1. Okay, We have to write this. So, what is this? This is the speed up of program A. So, the speed up of program A again on reference machine 1 and normal machine M2. So, reference machine R1 and execution machine M2. So, speed up of A on machine M2 with respect to R1. So, you calculate this value and the same thing you can do for the others. So, you can do reference uh, sorry speed up of A with respect to reference machine R2 for M1 and then M2. Okay. So, let us do the first one TR1 by TM1. So, what was TR1 for program A? So, program A this is the value 100 and the value it takes on machine 1 is this 10. Okay. So, 
performance of program A on machine 1 is 10 times better than that on reference machine 1. Let us do it for machine 2. On machine 2, we have uh, the numerator remains same 100 divided by now the denominator is this value uh, 1 here. Okay, so machine 1 it takes only one time unit, so the answer is 100. And if you do the others here, you get a 10, and here you get a 100. All right. So what have we calculated? Performance of program A with respect to reference machine 1 and separately with respect to reference machine 2. You can repeat the same thing. You can do perf uh, speed up of B reference machine R2 and M1, R2, M2 and same thing for reference machine 1 is left all right. So, R1, M1, R2, M2 ok. So, you can calculate these respective speed ups ok. So, I have uh, put those values here. I hope you could arrive at uh, the similar results with the calculation ok. Now, let us see the last column. The last column is going to take ratio of the means here. Uh, ratio of the means that is on the reference machine how much time did it take reference machine program uh, overall uh, if you see p program a and b on reference machine one it took these two different timings but the arithmetic mean is this much so if i take the arithmetic mean on the reference machine so uh, so i'll take on the reference machine's mean value, the circled value and then uh, the mean value on machine 1. So, 55. So, divided by 55. So, this divided by M1's mean. So, mean on M1. So, that is uh, reference machine's mean divided by mean on that particular machine. So, if you do this, you will get 91.8. So, this is equal to, okay. Similarly, if you want to fill this value, what is this value? It is machine 1 and ref 2. So, ref 2's average is 550 and machine 1's average is 55 got it. So, ref 2's average divided by machine 1's average gives you this value, okay. Let's moving on. We have the individual speed ups. Now, we want to average it out. So, similarly, we have three types of means, arithmetic mean, harmonic mean and geometric mean. I have already pre-populated the table because now these are very straightforward. You have uh, a speed up of 10 here. 100 here. So, its arithmetic mean is this value, right. So, you take arithmetic mean of these two values, you get 55, harmonic mean 18 and geometric mean 31.6, okay. So, the average speed up can be calculated using three different mean values, okay. Uh, now, let us compare across uh, these different means, yeah. So, if I take this, let us do some comparisons uh, using say arithmetic mean. That, uh, so, you concentrate on this column here, ok. So, we have reference machine 1, normal machine M1, reference machine 1, machine M2, we have 4 values. I am just listing them here on the side R2, M2. If you compare these 4 values, or if I want to say with respect to reference machine 1, which machine is good? Is M1 good or M2 good compared to ref 1? With respect to reference machine 1, is machine good, 1 good or machine 2 good? Okay, you compare these two values. And remember this is not execution time, this is speed up and speed up should be higher. Higher the speed up it is better. So, which value is higher? 
75 is higher than 55. So, I can say that between these two on the reference machine R1, M2 is better than M1. So, I will draw this conclusion. The greater than sign implies that the uh, better one is on the left hand side. It is not greater always. This one says R1 M2 is a better combination than R1 M1. If you repeat that for the second pair, what will you get? You will get R2 M2 better than R2 M1. So, uh, if we want to say it, what does it mean? that machine 2 is better than machine 1 when compared to reference machine 2 All right so overall arithmetic mean using arithmetic mean m2 turned out to be better than m1 given both the reference machines on both reference machines we had the same conclusion you can uh, pause the video and try to do the exercise uh, on harmonic mean So, I will do it on this slide. Harmonic mean, uh, which one is better? You can directly uh, start writing now that you know what are we comparing with. So, I am comparing these two values. So, with respect to harmonic mean, reference machine R1, which machine is good? M2. Right. So, M2 is better than M1. Again, harmonic mean reference machine R2, second reference machine, which is better between these two. So, we have 10 and 9.5. So, M1 is better than M2. Okay. If you remember the previous slide, arithmetic mean had drawn the same conclusion that M2 was uh, better than M1, whereas with respect to harmonic mean, we have got two uh, different conclusions. One is saying M, M1 is uh, better and here this is saying M2 is better. Okay. Now, let us do the same exercise on geometric mean. So, to compare with geometric mean, geometric mean on R1, 70.7 and the other one is 31.6. So, I am saying M2 is better than M1. Then geometric mean with respect to R2, which is better, again M2 is better than M1. Okay. So, with this uh, and we had also observed that geometric mean is more consistent. We are getting the consistent uh, conclusion from this. Another uh, nicer observation is if you take ratio of the goodness so i'm uh, i have compared the speed up but if i take ratio of the speed up what will happen if you take ratios of the speed up what does that mean these are the two speed ups 70.7 divided by 31.6 so if i take ratio of the speed ups with respect to r1 right with respect to R1, this is the ratio and I will do the same thing with respect to R2. What is the ratio? It is 22.4 by 10. You could do it the other way also. I am doing it M2 by M1. Okay. So, this is M2 by M1. All right. So, this ratio of speed ups when you do with geometric mean, if you will calculate, you are going to get almost same value for both the reference machines. So, this is also equal to 2.3, uh, it comes something. So, it is close to 2.24. So, right. So, on this slide, we have summed up uh, all the conclusions that arithmetic mean says that M2 is better than M1. Harmonic mean had different conclusions for the two different reference machines, whereas geometric mean had a more consistent result saying that M2 is better than M1 and also the ratio of the speed ups was also uh, same across the two reference machines. Okay. So, to summarize uh, this particular lecture, we have uh, used execution time to report the results, but when you have several execution times, you can average them to report one value. Average is either arithmetic or harmonic or geometric means. 
then to report speed up it is always in comparison with a reference machine so you take a reference machine and then take a ratio of the execution time on the reference divided by execution time on your uh, particular machine and then compare that average so when you have when i have several such speed ups you have to take average of that average is arithmetic mean harmonic mean or geometric mean and the conclusion we drew is harmonic uh, mean and arithmetic are good enough but geometric mean is a more stable metric okay uh, so with this we finish this lecture thank you mm -hmm.